Low to mid 70s over South Florida. Got some low to si uh, lower 60s, even some upper 50s around Pensacola and Panama City, where the front has gone well through the area. Winds are shifting. We're getting a north to northwest wind throughout the day today. That's good because what that's going to do now is begin to dry us out. So we'll take those dew points, which measure that surface moisture, and we're going to knock them back. Look. It's oppressive right now. Tampa, St. Petersburg, dew points are at 70, 72. It's about that summertime stuff. But just to our north, they, they dry out. 40s and 50s for dew points around the panhandle. That's what's coming our way. So as we get into the afternoon, evening hours, and especially overnight tonight, you're going to feel that drier air come in. That, to be honest, that's really the only impact we're going to get from this front other than the tiniest of sprinkles because there's no rain out there with this front right now. So just some clouds. We'll get back in intervals of clouds and sunshine tonight. Another patch of clouds, but then mostly sunny really just returns in earnest for your Thursday and your Friday. Now, we're going to be warm. We're not going below 80 for a high for the next seven days. However, next week, different ball game. I think next week, many locations are actually going to touch 90 degrees. Look at the high temperature forecast as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Look at these 90s. So it's going to get hotter, folks, <laughs> next week and still without the rain chances. So today, variable clouds. Uh, drier air will move in this afternoon. Your high of 82, 62 tonight for the overnight low. And then tomorrow, back to the mid 80s. So really, to be honest, today is going to be the coolest temperature we got over the next seven. And that's still going to be in the 80s, Mariah. <laughs>